So the types of over here are obviously oxidation potential and reduction potential. Within that, if I talk about the oxidation potential per se, right, what happens essentially is I'm talking about, you know, this particular half. Let's say we have a generalized reaction over here, right? Some M is there. It is losing N electrons and it is forming M with a charge N plus over here. Correct? Okay. This one over here is termed as a negative electrode. Electrode potentials for oxidation half reaction, right? Okay. Also, the notation is really important, right? So basically, you know, don't write the entire reaction. We include the species on the left hand side, we include the species on the right hand side, but be, be concerned and be, be, be very, you know, cautious here. We only include the species of which the oxidation state is changing, right? Or, or one of the uh, atoms or elements within the ion -A molecular species, the oxidation state of which is changing. That molecule or ion is placed over here, right? Not everything. So if you have H2O, somewhere in the reaction. And H2O is not, nothing is happening to H2O, right? Oxidation state is at least not changing. We don't include it, right? Okay. And also we don't write the electrons because I think we are smart enough. We can figure that out that M is going from zero to N plus. So N electrons would have been released in the process, right? And we write stuff in this, in such a manner. Now standard electrode potential, uh, oxidation potential can be written out, you know, like this. Under standard condition, we can just, you know, add a knot to the top, a subscript at the top. At the bottom, we have M solid gives slash M N power plus aqueous over here, right? This is what we have. And obviously, we know that the knot indicates standard conditions, right? Okay. And what do we call it? We call it the standard oxidation potential, right? Remember this, we will be again and again saying SOP, SOP again and again. So be ready for that. Be prepared for that. Correct? Okay. All right. Now, the point is, let's let's have a look at another such reaction here. Now, this is important because this will tell you what I was saying that, you know, what to include, what not to include. The point over here is that, you know, if you think about it, hydrogen is in plus one oxidation state, uh, oxygen is in minus one, right? On the right hand side, oxygen is in zero, hydrogen still is in plus one and we have the electrons. So the point is that uh, hydrogen essentially is not getting oxidized or reduced, right? So it doesn't make sense to include it here. So while we are representing it, we are just going to represent H2O2 slash O2. Right? Because oxygen is wherever oxygen is and that oxygen is getting oxidized or, you know, reduced. That part we include. The other parts that are not undergoing any oxidation or reduction, that part we do not include. Right? Okay. And obviously not electrons as well. Right? So yeah, you have this over here. Now, now let's look at a value. Right? Let's look at this value. The representation we are pretty sure will be Cu solid slash Cu2 plus aqueous. Yeah, we mentioned their states as well. Solid and aqueous also have to be mentioned. And the value over here is listed out as minus 0.34 volts. Correct? All right. So this is what we have. Going on the other side, uh, right? Uh, let's, let's go through one more reaction. We have oxidation potential like this. The representation would be Zn solid and Zn2 plus aqueous. The representation is something like this. And this value is plus... 0.76 volts. Now, don't worry, you don't have to remember these values. No, whether the previous value am I talking about minus 0.34 or the other value that you know, uh, plus 0.76. No, you do not have to remember these values. Definitely not, right. But then again, the point is, uh, you do, you should remember the representation, you should understand the representation. You should be able to look at a representation and construct the reaction from it. That also should be there, right? Later on, we'll come to some electrochemical series in which you will have to remember certain sequences. Like, you know, this element has a higher oxidation tendency as compared to this one, as compared to this one. That you will have to remember. But exact numerical values? No, 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 no. You don't have to remember all that, right? Okay. So, yeah, this is... Uh, what we have, let's let's jump on over to the reduction uh, potential half. Now, obviously, in a similar way, when we talk about the reduction potential, this is the reaction we can take a look at. This is the opposite of the previous reaction. 
think about it right and this uh, can be turned as the positive electrode as long as we are talking about the galvanic cell but as i have told you do not remember the charge come to the charge as a conclusion right okay so yeah this is what we have the representation again is quite simple right and under standard conditions as we talked about we add a knot over here which uh, indicates the standard state right okay in a similar way you know uh, we call it standard reduction potential or srp keep this symbol in mind srp for standard reduction potential sop for standard oxidation potential these terms are really important this will really benefit you always keep in mind right okay so yeah, this is an example what we have over here cu2 plus accepting two electrons we can write the expression in this way oh did you notice we have flipped the reaction so the value has become positive i okay and we can have another look at this reaction and this time around we have minus 0.7 fix right this value also has become negative of the previous value right so it is the previous value was plus 0.76 why why because we were measuring the sop standard oxidation potential right and this time over here we are measuring the standard reduction potential we are measuring the opposite of the previous reaction so this value has become negative as well right okay people and if we try talk about you know let's say this 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 particular reaction over here the again again pay attention to the notations right H2O2 over here, H plus over here, H2O here. Hydrogen, no oxidation or reduction is happening. So hydrogen will not be included in the form of H plus will not be included in the representation, right? So the representation only will be H2O2 and H2O. Although here we should also mention their states. That should also happen, right? Okay. Let's deal with reduction potential versus oxidation potential and let's see what is there in the store for us right okay <clears throat> now the point is reduction and oxidation potential for an electrode are equal in value and opposite in sign as we saw right because you are essentially flipping the reaction right so oxidation potential is the minus of reduction potential or vice versa all right people Similarly, the relationship can also be developed for SOP and SRP as well, right? Okay. And we know what SOP and SRP are, right? They are the standard states. Also, the thing is, higher the reduction potential, higher the reduction potential, higher is the tendency for that species to get reduced itself. So, it is a better oxidizing agent. I will say it again. If if CO2 plus plus two electrons, you know, basically let's let's say that you know it's it's a standard reduction potential E naught CO2 plus CO value was coming out to be what 0.34, right? Okay. Now let's say I take another hypothetical reaction. Let's say B plus uh, B2 plus plus two electrons. Let's say we talk about this one over here and becomes B. Right, when we talk about this reaction for say B2 plus slash B, right, obviously I am not mentioning the states, but you should, right? <laughs> okay, let's say the value over here is one. That means that, you know, this species has a higher tendency to proceed in the forward direction. Forward direction as in consuming electrons. Consuming electrons as in getting reduced itself. So the second one over here between the one and two, the second one here has a higher tendency to get reduced itself. And that means that as a result, if it has a higher tendency to get reduced itself, it has a higher oxidizing tendency as in it has a higher tendency to oxidize someone else. It is a better oxidizing agent. And it can also be said, said vice versa that whichever has, you know, the lower value is basically you know lower oxidizing tendency or lower tendency to get reduced itself now also note that you know the same conversation can also be done for sop as well right or oxidation potential as well the one with the higher oxidize oxidation potential wants to get oxidized itself more readily or is a better reducing agent right that's what i'm trying to say 
let's move further right by comparing the oxidation and reduction potential values of the same electrode the spontaneous reaction and the direction of that whether the reaction you know will happen on its own or not by comparing the values of the two different electrodes we can predict that particular value let's let's dive into that further right so if you take about you know let's say the value of copper electrode the reduction potential value is uh, this much right plus 0.34 and we also know that the oxidation potential value will be the negative one of that right minus minus 0.34 right so basically here what we can say is that you know it is uh, on its own on its own i would say that copper 2 plus ion want to get reduced in form copper right so this is better this is easier you know as compared to the reverse of this right causing this is much easier much easier as compared to the reverse of this reaction right so forward is favored over here all right cool let's compare the zinc case right so in the zinc case as you can look the oxidation potential value was positive right see in the previous one what did we see the reduction was positive right so reduction consumption of electrons is more favored right the forward direction and if we compare the opposite of this thing over here what do we do the oxidation potential for zinc right so for zinc losing electrons and becoming zn2 plus that is more favored get it what i'm trying to say right so basically that value has a positive value so oxidation over here is a more favorable one 